In the ongoing conflict of Israel-Hamas war, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has just made a major and a significant move. According to NBO reports, Benjamin Netanyahu has officially apologized to his country for the October 7 terror attacks. Well, after months of hesitation, this apology is a big step in addressing the situation issues and criticism surrounding his government's response. In an interview released on August 8, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu openly expressed his sorrow for the October 7 attacks. He reflected on the situation and acknowledging that he feels deeply regretful about the tragedy. Netanyahu admitted that it's natural to look back and question whether there were actions that could have been taken to prevent the attacks from happening. Well, earlier on October 7, 2023, Hamas launched a devastating attack that led to the death of 1,198 people and took over 250 individuals hostage. And it was a tragic day for Israel and the government faced heavy criticism for how it responded to the situation. Meanwhile, the Jewish leader said if they can promise that things will be peaceful and secure after the war, then they should stay in a power. Well, out of the 251 people who were taken hostage, 111 are still thought to be in Gaza. And according to the Israeli military, 39 of these 111 hostage are believed to be already died. Well, with worries about a bigger war in the West Asia region, Israel has increased its attacks on the Gaza Strip. And on Thursday, a series of strikes killed at least 40 people in Gaza. Well, this apology is important because it shows the government is beginning to listen to people's and concerns and it's a step towards rebuilding trust and improving security. Keep watching in a for more such interesting updates.